Welcome to Royal Jews, preparing for a visit to Uganda to open a bank inside a refugee camp, Princess Anne. But before we continue, if you are new to my channel, I encourage you to click the subscription button and turn on the notification bell for more updates. During her stay in the nation, Princess Royal is going to go to a number of engagements from 25th to the 28th of October. And the Princess Royal is getting ready to head to Uganda, where she is going to attend a number of public appearances. The princess is going to travel with her husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence, and will remain in the African nation for four days, during which she'll go to a hectic schedule like participating in the opening ceremony in the first bank on the Nikaval refugee settlement. The senior royal is patron to several charitable organizations and can go to a number of functions matching her patronages during her trip to Uganda from 25th to October 28th and puts up the very first commercial bank in Nakavel Refugee Settlement. The senior royal is patron to several charitable organizations and can go to a number of functions matching her patronages during her trip to Uganda from October 25th to October 28th and puts up the very first commercial bank in Naki Vale Refugee Settlement as patron of Opportunity International. Opportunity International is a non-profit organization that provides loans to people living in poverty. The organization also offers financial training and savings to help people break out of poverty and create a sustainable livelihood. Lastly, as patron of Transet, Anne is going to conclude her stay in Uganda by going to the Safeway Rightway HGV truck driver training course and seeing a demonstration by female pupils. Princess Diana went to Tuesday's ceremony in which she presented actor Daniel Craig the exact same honor given to the famous and fictional British spy James Bond. Mr. Craig smiled with joy while the Princess Royal positioned the medal around his neck, officially which makes him companion of the Order of St. Michael and St. George for contributions to theater and film. The function of the function occurred at Windsor Castle, where Princess Anne wore her military uniform in support of King Charles III. Princess Anne opens a branch of Opportunity Bank within a refugee community while on a tour of Uganda. Princess Anne showed up in great spirits when she opened an Opportunity Bank branch in a refugee camp in Uganda today. Princess Royal, 72, wore a beige vest white button-up shirt and cargo pants, she braved the heat of 31 degrees this afternoon. The mother of two finished her look with a fashionable bucket hat, sunglasses, and amp amp long champ purse as she continued her trip to the East African nation. The late Queen's sole daughter, in her capacity as patron of Opportunity International, launched the bank in her role as a charity aimed at ending global poverty. Upon arriving at Naki Vale Township, Princess Anne shook hands with representatives of the organization which provides specialized financial services to small businesses and individuals. Anne was additionally pictured talking with members of the Unleashed Youth Entrepreneur Group that aims to encourage social business leaders. The Queen, the Queen additionally went to the Wednesday to Women's Group which will help parents of kids with disabilities. The Princess Royal is currently touring the African country with her husband, Tim Lawrence, 67, as part of her very first royal trip since Queen Elizabeth II died on September 8 at the age of 96. Just before their return to the UK on Friday, Princess Anne said Sir Tim are going to conclude their trip by serving female pupils finish the Safeway Rightway HGV truck driver training course as part of a partnership with Transat. Princess Royal created the organization 25 years ago with Save the Kids and AMP AMP, the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. It came as the princess paid tribute to the queen last night by putting on her late mother's sapphire and pearl brooch to a meal at the British High Commissioner's residence in Uganda. Last night, Anne organized a dinner for Yoweri K. 
Museveni, the President of the Republic of Uganda, and his daughter Natasha in the state home in Kampala. The mother of two wore her navy silk wrap dress with matching low patent heels and a matching pair of pumps. Finishing her evening outfit and used Empress Maria Fyodorovna's sapphire brooch, which has been handed down to her by the Queen. The unique sapphire brooch is surrounded by two rows of diamonds and featured a removable pearl droplet and dangles delicately below. The historical piece of jewelry, which Chris Scott magazine thinks to be worth £500, was initially bought by the Princess of Wales in 19. The historical piece of jewelry, which Chris Scott magazine thinks to be worth five hundred thousand pounds, was initially bought by the Princess of Wales in eighteen sixty six as a party gift to her sister Empress Maria Fyodorovna. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates.